In this video, I'm going to show you how the border corner function in CS6 will place the border corners and top border patterns. We have six buttons on the head that communicates with Creative Studio. If we want to see the labels for those buttons, I'm going to left click on view, left click on keypad window. To mark our boundary on the quilt, we need to use the border corner function. To select that function, I need to click the mode button, which is the top right button, until I highlight border corner and I use the bottom right corner to select that. Now as you can see on the bottom right corner of the screen is instructions. It says click upper left outer corner of our boundary. Now I can use the black button on the handle which is connected to this bottom left corner button. So I'm going to use this black button. I'm going to move over to the top left corner as it says and click. Now I'm going to move to the right top corner and click. Now I'm going to go down to the belly bar and back up slightly and click. The reason I'm backing up is as we roll the quilt, the take-up lever grows and that will prevent the head from coming as far forward, so I'm allowing for that. I'm going to move over to, to the left side, belly bar, and back up slightly. Now it says click upper left corner, enter. right inner corner go to the belly bar back up slightly inner belly bar back up as you can see we've been successful in marking our boundary I had jackal bean selected and it automatically placed that in that boundary. Now I'd like to share with you a tip that many people don't know. You are able to audition another pattern, but remember that you can only audition other patterns while your setting window is still open. Here's how. We, if we click on this loop pattern and go up to transfer pattern to boundary, you see it switches to that new pattern. And that's the way you place border corners. The next step is placing the top border. Here's how we do that. We're going to select the border corner pattern, hold down the control key, and select the pattern itself. Now if we go up and transfer that, as you can see, we have the top border connected and it will start on the left and so continuously to the right. Most corner and border patterns will sew continuously, but sometimes the patterns we want to use are not designed that way. The pattern I just showed you were connected. And if we look over here under Border corner settings, we have connect true. Now, if I use a different pattern, here's an example. Use the square and the line L. Now, as you can see, those patterns do not connect. It will automatically say the connect to false. Now, it has a true here, but if I click on it, it turns false it knows automatically to turn that to false. 
Now let's go back to our loops and hold down the control. Click and transfer that. This time, if we zoom in, we can see these are not connected. And the reason they're not connected is we still have connect on false. It does not automatically go back to true. So I'm going to switch this to true. As you can see, they are connected now. And that demonstrates placing border corner patterns as well as the top borders that are both connected and non-connected. Happy quilting! Thank you.